Hey guys, Dean here. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about how you can set up TikTok ads. So in this portion of the course, we're going to move on to the advertising proportion. We're going to move on to TikTok ads. This is going to be the main method that we're going to advertise our dropshipping store in this course. Now you can use Facebook ads as well as TikTok ads, but I'm going to be doing a separate video on my channel to actually cover that on YouTube. Okay. For the purpose of this course, the easiest way to get started right now is via TikTok ads. If you don't use TikTok organic, if you have an ads budget, this is the best way to get started. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to walk through setting up a TikTok account. If you haven't already, I've already set up one and then also linking it to Shopify via the TikTok app to connect it, which is going to be called the TikTok pixel, right? So connecting our TikTok business account and setting up the TikTok pixel is paramount. That's the first thing we're going to do so we can actually track some data and have data sharing and analytics so we can actually look over how our campaigns are performing. And then after that, we're going to actually set up the ads themselves. Themselves and I'm going to show you how to set up your first ad group, which I'm also going to do myself right now as well because I'm testing out a current product. So let's begin. What you want to do first of all is you want to create a TikTok account. I'd recommend doing this on your phone. I'm not going to show you how to create the account because you should already have one at this point and you should be able to sign up for an account. But if you don't know how, go to TikTok.com and create an account. And then I'd recommend logging into your phone to create this account or continue the steps from there. The reason being is you need a TikTok business account. The only way you can actually convert your TikTok account into a business account is via the phone app currently you can't do it on pc unfortunately the options just aren't there on the website so you're gonna have to sign up on your phone so i'm here in a new browser just to show you the process if i was on tiktok.com i'd go ahead and press login over here and if i don't have an account i just press sign up you can also log in with different social medias so i just press sign up we can use facebook google or twitter to quickly log in and create an account off the back of that that's the quickest way or use phone or email which is probably the best option i use my phone number to create my my first account and then use my Google account to create my second account because I run two different TikToks, one for drop shipping and one for my personal brand, right? So select one of these. Let's say I would select phone or email. You type in your birthday, then you type in your area code and your phone number. They give you a verification code on your phone. You type in here and you could sign up an account. The reason you want to do this from the phone though, like I said, is you want to create a business account. So go ahead right now, pause the course or the video, search in Google how to change a personal account in TikTok to a business account, and then we'll continue from there. Once you have a business account, we can move forward with the TikTok pixel process. Now, what we want to do next, now that we've created an account and we've made it into a business account, is we want to go on the TikTok website. Now, the TikTok website is actually really useful. So we have advertised on TikTok with this holiday season, and it actually gives us some pretty good data. They show us some data on some of the TikTok campaigns. They show us how to create an advertiser account, which is also pretty useful. So this is going to be where you can create an account as well. So I'd recommend if you haven't got a TikTok account yet and you up ads for the first time i'd recommend create an advertiser account on this page okay because this is crucial and basically if we scroll down we can see different businesses succeeding via tiktok ads that will show you the impressions they're getting from the ad campaign videos the clicks and also the click-through rate okay so the ctr so it shows some pretty important metrics over here if you're a youtuber or if you've got some kind of social media account you'll probably already be familiar with what these actually mean if not then earlier in the course i actually showed you what these figures actually meant and why we need to know what they are. And as you can see, we have some information over here. And also, if you have any extra struggles with this process of what I'm showing you right now, you can also use this page too because they have information on how to create and install the Pixel, how to set up events, and how to download the TikTok Pixel Helper and verify the setup. So they have some information on the website which are actually useful resources. They also have a holiday checklist currently because we're recording this in Q4. So you can see we have a checklist of what to do and it's basically quite useful for your own campaign, okay? So you can use this to your advantage as well. We're in Shopify right now. I've created a business account. If you haven't got one, create one on TikTok, make it into a business account and or also use this page to create an advertiser account as well. Very important, okay? So now we're in Shopify. In Shopify, you won't have this over here. As you can see, I have this little TikTok thing under the sales channels. If you want to get this, press apps on the left-hand side and you're gonna have to manually install this. This doesn't come with Shopify by default. Search TikTok in the top box. This will take you to the Shopify app store and it'll take you directly to the TikTok app, okay? 
okay, we need this if we're gonna set up the TikTok ad campaign. Go here where it says TikTok. I've already installed it, so it says installed. And there should be a button here to install it, just like any other Shopify apps. Get it installed. That's how you get it on your Shopify dashboard. So let's click on TikTok now. We wanna set up TikTok marketing. Press set up TikTok marketing. This is how we can set up the TikTok pixel. And now it says TikTok for business. Connect to TikTok for business to access all of your business accounts in one place. So using this app, we can actually bind multiple accounts to it, which is really useful. So press connect TikTok for business over here. This is going to connect the account which we have. Now I'm going to blur out my account because obviously I don't want to show you my brand, but you can see it's detected the account that I'm already logged into TikTok with. And I'm going to press connect to Shopify down here. So press connect. You can also switch user if it's logged into the wrong thing on the website. We've connected our TikTok account for TikTok for business into Shopify. So then we now have this little step, TikTok ads manager. You can access and manage all your TikTok ads here. So press create new. Yeah, again, I'm going to have to blur some of this out on the screen. But as you can see, we select our country and region first, the currency which we have, the business name, it will by default put in your Shopify brand, but you want to change this to the name of your actual brand or your company store. This is very important because it'll just give you your Shopify URL in here, which is kind of going to be bad. You want to include the proper company name or your store name, at least if you don't have a company name yet, your email, your phone number, the industry which you're in. Now, I'm not really sure what industry mine specifically falls under under TikTok, but cosmetics and personal care is probably the closest to what my product is. And remember to add the right information here. Then what you want to do is you want to click agree to the terms of service, press sign up and connect. So now we're actually connecting our ads account to the platform as well. And we've set up that. So now under data sharing, this is where your customer data is used to target products, posts and ads at the customers on TikTok. With the different levels, you can choose the amount of data to share now. If you're a consumer of a social media app, you probably want to have a low amount of data gathering, right? You don't want people to harvest all your data. You don't want people to collect information on you. But when you're a business, that information is going to be really useful. Why do you think that companies like Google and Facebook just gather so much data on their customers? It's so they can optimize all the advertisement fundamentals and features on their platform, right? It's very useful to upsell to people and basically have successful ad campaigns. So that's why people data harvest. Now, since we're on the other end now, we're not on the receiving end, we want to press maximum, okay? Because we want to have maximum data gathering or data sharing. And maximum combines all data sharing options to reach the highest number of customers. So this is going to be the best for conversions. You want to click this to get the highest rate of conversions, okay? We want to use that data to our advantage. It uses Shopify APIs to share data from Shopify servers to TikTok in addition to using Pixel, TikTok Pixel, to share customer browsing behavior on your online store. So this is communicating through Shopify's API, which is like their code base or their system or their framework. It's communicating from Shopify all the user interactions. So what buttons they click on your website and all those different things which they perform on your website, those tasks. And it's communicating those through to TikTok to give TikTok more data to optimize the ad campaigns. OK, so this is very important. So it shares the customer browsing behavior to do this. And this option makes data blocking less likely. So just select maximum it's the best. You want to make sure your privacy policy actually echoes uh, this usage of customer data too. That's quite important. I recommend adding that on there. You can also click here to manage your privacy policy and you can also view the customer data actually being shared so the ad billing the complete payment search complete registration the phone number data via customer api add to cart initiate checkout view content the email data via order api so all these things is the data being shared and communicated so we've already connected our tiktok pixel so we don't need to disconnect it just press confirm this is usually a quicker process but i want to share everything here guys so then you need to set up your company information so yeah again i'm going to blur all this stuff out but basically Basically, you're setting up your business address over here. So you select, are you an ad agency? Just select, I don't work at an ad agency because we don't, or at least I don't. If that's different for you, then you can change that. Then tax information. This is also optional. Like I said earlier in the course or in the course, when you sign up for taxes, most likely when you make like a thousand dollars or more, I'd recommend just so you can stay on top of it. Once you sign up on your country's tax platform, then you can use a VAT number, your company registration number, and put that all in this box as well. Under payment, we have automatic payment. Payment. So if you link a card to your account and set up auto payments on a reoccurring basis, it will actually go out on a certain date when you reach the threshold. Okay. Please note that you can still make separate manual payments and also manually add balance before running your ads. Any charges will be deducted from your bank account balance. Let's run through this first. Okay. So if you're young or you're a kid or you have a very limited budget, I'd recommend selecting manual payment if you don't know how to manage your money very effectively, right? If you're not very good at managing your money or if you feel like you're very forgetful, 
full and you'll forget to turn off your ad campaign, then this might drain your bank account, okay, if you don't have any money. So I'd recommend pressing manual payment. For most people who have this as a priority or at the front of the mind, you're going to remember when to cancel your campaign or you'll be monitoring it actively while it's active to make sure it's performing well. If it doesn't, you'll cancel it. Thus, you won't actually have to keep paying for it, right? So for most people, automatic will be fine. But if you're forgetful or if you're not keeping on top of things, just remember leaving a campaign on is going to obviously keep spending money each day, right? Because you're going to set a daily goal or a daily ad spend. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to click on automatic, but that's quite important. Press confirm, make sure your address is right. And then we have everything ticked. So everything's ticked over here on the TikTok pixel and press complete. Now, once you've done this, once you've registered for the ad account, it basically says your ad account is under review. This normally takes up to 24 hours. So after this point, when you set up the TikTok pixel, your account is going to be in the review process. So so after it's in the review process and it gets approved in up to or under 24 hours for the most part, you'll then be able to actually start running ads and peddling them on the TikTok platform. So we've got the, the entry level legwork out of the way now. Now we just need to wait to get approved. Now I would mention this in the next part, but I also just want to have a habit of mentioning it here in case I forget. Basically right now, TikTok, this is very situational at the time of recording it at the end of November 2022, TikTok has $100 ad credit, okay? so. There's two weeks left on this, so if anyone's watching this when this is actually created, you might be able to still take advantage of this. And basically, if you spend $20, you'll earn an additional $100 of ads credit. This is actually unprecedented. This is crazy. If you have a higher ad spend, let's say we decide to spend like $50 a day when we see a bit of performance. This is two days, two whole days of, of ad spend that we can just get entirely free. So this is actually a deal which I really recommend taking advantage of. So our account is now pending review. You can also sync all your products information to use for campaigns but we have now set up the tiktok pixel and we're ready to move forward to actually start with the ad campaigns